Hi there, welcome to another video for Juice Heart High Level Maths. We're still on statistics, still displaying data, and now we're going to look at pie charts. Pie charts, again, are a very common way of displaying data, where they use a circle and then divide it up into different sectors. To convert an amount to degrees to be used in the pie chart, you first write it as a fraction of the full amount, and then multiply it by 360 because there's 360 degrees in the full circle. So it's a very similar operation to finding a percentage. If you want to find a percentage of an amount, you will write it as a fraction and multiply it by 100 because there's 100% in the full amount. We're doing the same thing here, just multiplying by 360 because 360 degrees in the full amount. And then to convert from degrees back to an amount, you will write the number of degrees it was given over 360 and multiply by the total amount or total frequency in the problem. We'll look at both now. In this first problem, red occurred 12 times, blue occurred nine times, green four times, and purple five times. And we want to represent this in a pie chart. So altogether, there was 30 selections, we'll say, or colors. So for red, it'll be 12 over 30 multiplied by 360. So red will have 144 degrees of a sector. Blue was 9 over 30 multiplied that by 360, and it's given 108 degrees. Green was 4 out of 30 by 360 again will give us 48 degrees for green. And purple, 5 over 30, by 360 will give us 60 degrees and that'll be what will be left over after you do the other four. So using your protractor then, well I suppose with your compass first draw the circle, note the center point, draw a radius from the center out to the edge, place the protractor, center it on the center point of the circle with the baseline of the protractor along the radius and measure your amount of degrees moving about the circle and draw each sector. If we were to come back then, if we were given the number of degrees for each color and wanted to find out how many that was, well, red was 144 degrees out of 360. So 144 over 360. And there was 30 selections. So we multiply that fraction by 30 and it comes back to be 12. So we know there was 12 selections for red. Same for blue, 108 degrees was how much blue was given. Out of 360, multiply it by 30, and you get 9. Green, 48 over 360 times 30 gives us 4, and purple, 60 over 360 by 30 gives us 5. So you can go from the amount of selections into degrees, and then you can go from degrees back to the amount of selections. That's designing a pie chart, a very useful way of displaying data. Hope you found it useful.